Hi, and welcome to this video on what's new in SPSS Modeler 18.1.1. This release is available as of October 30th, 2017, and you can download it if you are a Modeler user. So let's start with what's new. The first thing that you notice is there's a new tab here at the bottom, which is set Spark. There are three algorithms added to it. Two are familiar with you if you're an uh, SPSS user, and one is new. So the XGBoost and the K-means um, are now available as a Spark algorithm, which can run in the Spark cluster through SPSS Analytics Server, but also, of course, when you use it locally. A new algorithm is the isotonic regression algorithm. So let's take a look how this works. So isotonic uh, regression is a refinement on linear regression, and it tries to uh, fit the model as closely to the observations as possible. And here you see how this might look like. And by the way, the look and feel of this new uh, screen is, let's say, very similar to what you may be familiar with in IBM Data Science Experience. And it has some new uh, features, like, for instance, you can zoom in on the data by using a lesser technique like this. You can simply zoom out. So isotonic regression is a new model. Another development in uh, SPSS model is that we add more and more new Python algorithms. Uh, these algorithms are based on the uh, scikit-learn uh, library. And there are uh, a few, one newly added is this one, random forest. This is conceptually similar to the random trees, but this comes from the scikit-learn implementation and may often run faster than the uh, random trees generated by IBM. A new feature which has been added, and let's move to a new model, is hyperparameter optimization for the Python models. Hyperparameter optimization, for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, which is a setting which will help you to find the optimal parameter settings for your uh, algorithm. And if you check it here with the XGBoost algorithm, you'll see that it grays out all the other options. It'll find the best optimal setting. So this is a Great announcement for uh, for uh, SPSS model. You can use this for random forest. You can use this for XGBoost tree and for XGBoost linear. Another thing that has been added in SPSS model 18.1.1 is that in the auto modeling node, which is one of the very successful nodes of SPSS modeler, we also have added the new algorithms. So you can see XGBoost linear, XGBoost tree as well as the random forest have been added in here. So when you, once you do the model selection, it'll find the best model of you, for you. So all the models have now been added. And in this case, you'll uh, see in this churn model, the XGBoost tree has been selected as the number one uh, model based on overall accuracy. Let's move on to the next feature. The next feature is a graph or a plot node, and this is a plot node called ePlot Beta, and this is a beta version. And this is very new if you're fam uh, familiar with SPSS. We now have embedded this new visualization to uh, solicit for your feedback. So if you're a SPSS user, we really encourage you to try this out and uh, let us know what you think of it. Um, I'm using a time series data uh, from the samples and I already prepared it. Um, so let's take a look at this. I'll run the model and we'll see the new plot node appear in a second. And what you'll see is the completely new look and feel. It's really looking very nice and you can hover over the data and you'll see the data points here. In addition, you have a couple of controls here. In the right hand corner, you can choose light or dark, whichever you prefer. And there are a few let's say settings. You can use a scatter plot or a line plot and you can use for instance change the color to maybe something yellow and you can contrast the data um, by using the coloring for 
influences on the map if you use this. So let me make this a little bit more legible. And now you can see the coloring appear in here. So this is the new plot notes. So you can play with it and let us know what you think about it. Another um, algorithm actually that has been added to the to this release is the T SNE algorithm. And T SNE actually is a visualization as you can see, and this is used to visualize highly dimensional complex data in a two dimensional or three dimensional plot. And this uh, uh, visualization has been added to the 18.1.1 release. So let's take a look how that looks like. So this is an example um, based on credit card information. Uh, you can see clusters of information appear. And TSNI is used uh, especially in the world of uh, medical information. If you have to uh, analyze, for instance, genome data or uh, MRI scans, it helps you to visualize multi many dimensions into this into this plot, so you can cluster your uh, your uh, information. And here's another way with a uh, colorful overlay on top of uh, on top of that. So let's move back to uh, SPSS as modeler. The last thing we've added to this release is the Cplex. Uh, node and cplex is the node which interfaces with ibm's decision optimization offerings now uh, is capable of uh, accepting uh, more than one input uh, so you can uh, use it to uh, uh, use it for uh, inputting constraints rules etc so this uh, enforces a much better relationship between ibm decision optimization and ibm spss modeler in summary what have we done we've added a couple of new algorithms. One in Spark, which is the isotonic regression. Two uh, Python algorithms. One is TSNE, and the other one is um, around random forest. Uh, we added hyperparameter optimization to tune your Python models. Uh, we added the Python models to the auto modeling nodes. Um, we added the new beta uh, plot node, which you can use, and we added the TSNE node for uh, visualization. So there's a lot of new features added to this release, on top of, of course, bug fixing and other things we've been adding. So I um, hope you enjoy uh, SPSS 18.1.1. Let us know what you think, and thanks for watching.